When you're arrested with, for DUI, the police officer generally will run a national search to see if you have any prior DUI convictions. Uh, sometimes if it's been within 10 years, you can be charged with a DUI second, third, fourth, and so on. Uh, John, do you want to tell people what the consequences of a subsequent DUI is if you have a, already have a prior DUI conviction? Uh, sure, there's going to be a couple, but the first one you're going to uh, have to face is that they're going to be increased bond conditions. So bond conditions are when the judge says that in order for you not to stay in jail while your case is pending, you have to do these certain things. And the legislature over the last couple of years, and as recently as July of this year, have increased the mandatory bond conditions for prior DUIs, prior reckless drivings. Uh, these things include ignition interlock device, a blow device in your car where your car won't start unless you blow into it. Um, active alcohol monitoring, it's called SCRAM. It's an ankle bracelet that you can't drink on or you potentially go back to jail. Uh, and potentially even no driving can be a bond condition. So those are things that we have to address with the court uh, when they're imposed because they generally imposed as soon as you get out of jail. Uh, now, there are some other things that you're going to have to deal with as the case goes along, and you can tell them a little bit about that. Yeah, so in addition to bond conditions, uh, there's also additional punishment for being charged with a DUI second or third or so on. Um, you know, if you've been arrested and convicted of DUI pr uh, before, you know that the mandatory minimum in the state of Tennessee is 48 hours. And if your blood alcohol content is above a 0.2, it goes up to seven days. Now, that gets worse with a DUI second. It goes up to 45 days and then 120 days. Uh, on a DUI third, uh, and there are things that you can do to, to potentially get, get the case resolved with less jail time, or sometimes we're even able to negotiate it down. Because, For example, if you're charged with DUI second, you can still be convicted of an, another DUI first uh, through negotiations. Uh, and sometimes doing some treatment programs are beneficial uh, for negotiation purposes, as well as potentially for yourself, uh, if you recognize that you may have a, a drinking problem and, and do need help. That's right. I mean, it's important to keep in mind that those are mandatory minimums if convicted. If you've only been charged, I don't think that you, it's a second offense. I'm definitely going to jail for 45 days. You haven't been convicted. Uh, and so those are the things that we're working with is try to keep you from being convicted of a second, potentially of a first, or maybe not of anything at all.